Welcome back to the vlog and welcome here to Siawi, Papua New Guinea. My name is Ryan. We're here with Thompson and Johnson with the RAA. Uh, they did an airstrip inspection today, so let's go ahead and start. We're just jumping over the mountain behind me if the weather is good. Low start over 14% NG will introduce our fuel. Much in the needle will come up. We've just been here for about an hour and a half, maybe at least. And just 674. Generator on at prop four, 20 degrees of flaps. Throw our V2 on. So they've been cutting this airship by hand the past, well, yesterday they started, they said, and they're about, uh, about 60. 60% of the way down. So my goal is to get airborne by 60% of the runaway because it's like a foot high after that. But we're empty today, so it shouldn't be an issue. Fuel caps are good. Our selectors will turn Betty off for takeoff. Check our weights, see what our rotate speed will be. We're 5,900, so we'll rotate at 50. I'd say 57 and 67 if we have to come back in or when we get over to sort of me. our cargo doors open but it's not we've been having problems with the stupid uh micro switch the instruments are all good our t's and p's are all in the green our flight plan in there i already walked the runway and picked out a cone down there that i want to be about 30 well airspeed alive which is about 25 30 knots which is about Halfway, it's just a little bit past the second cone up there. I should be basically 30 knots. That way I can get up to 56 knots by the time I need to rotate before I get to the long grass. But if I do need to stop on the runway, it's full reverse, heavy braking. I'll pull off and shut up if we're going off. If we're going off, we'll just go straight ahead. There's a big ditch at the end. Alright, turn around, get a little bit more space for takeoff. And myself another. 50 feet or so. Morris B at 819 or November Tango Kilo Taxi. November Tango Kilo Morris B at November Tango Kilo Taxi Siawi Sotomi 3 POB. November Tango Kilo no reported traffic. November Tango Kilo. All stations Siawi. November Tango Kilo Taxi Siawi Sotomi below 5000. Put our 1,400 feet in for pattern altitude for Sia or for Sotomi. Ignition on. Our lights, our bypass. We did our taxi. 31 and sea level for 1540 for 1590. Ignition condition flaps 20 fuel and harnesses. Checklist is complete. Better torque before we get going. There's speeds alive, there's 30, 40, continuing. There's 50, and airborne, just before the long grass, nice. Climb out at around seven and a half degrees on our attitude indicator. That'll give us 85 knots, which is a nice speed for climbing out. Do a 180, climb up over top of these mountains behind me, hopefully. Over 85 and climb, we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. I'll go zero degrees of flaps. It was raining up there about 20 minutes ago, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. Air prop back to 2,000 RPM. And throw it up on the big screen so I can kind of see exactly where I need to go. If I head down here a little bit further, there is like a kind of a low route that you can get in there. If it doesn't work for us getting in there, then we're just going to head on back to WeeWac. Because it's the only other place that we need to do an inspection out here this week. leave our engine in the bypass just because we'll be going right over top of some mountains pretty low terrain in case we have to and wiggle on through this little scattered layer right here 
That chime is just letting me know that I'm passing through 1,400 feet and 1,600 feet. That's all right. I think I'm going to probably need around 2,200 feet just to get over top of these mountains if it's clear. But, man, once I get in there, my decision making is do I want to get in there and, and then get stuck in there with rain if possible. And that's my only way out. So we are going to be on the ground for probably an hour and a half. My guess is, unless it's looking really, really nice, it's just not worth my time to, to land there and then have to spend the night out here with these guys because the rain came in faster than what we were hoping for. You guys are in the market for new sunglasses. I've got these back on my website now. Uh, they're metal frames and glass lenses, really, really nice quality. And uh, yeah, they fit under hats, they fit underneath your headsets and whatnot. So go check them out if you guys are looking for some new sunglasses. All right. Oh, we'll come up here around this next corner, and that will really be the determining factor if we can get in or not. We're just approaching 3,000 feet MSL, but we kind of need that to get up over top of these clouds ahead of me. And I'll also bring my torque on back to 1250 just so I can have a little bit more manageable speed in and around these clouds. It doesn't really show up on the cameras. It picks up a lot more definition than what a normal human eye does. It just kind of looks like lots of cloud out there. Not clouds, just a cloud. So, but the cameras do a lot better job, that's for sure. This is also really handy down here. It's going to show me where my red is. Red, you're dead. Hello. You're close to train, so you can see here there's a little gap in there, and there's also one up further on up. I'm going for the second one up there if I can jump down into that valley, but looking up ahead, it's really kind of gray, which is just uh, light to moderate rain, looks like on all of the uh, mountain tops. Morris Beard, 819 November Tango, Kilo. November Tango, Kilo, Morris November Tango, Kilo, departed Siawi. Time two five. Tracking zero zero three below five thousand. Estimating Siawi time three four. Number two kilo second departure point. Siawi November Tango Kilo. Alright, it is. Number Tango Kilo and request again destination. Destination Sodomy, November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo, thank you. Kilo 5000. Oh well, yeah, it looks like it's just packed in with rain. The weather forecast this morning was saying no rain out here until the afternoon. But uh, yeah, there is no way I'm going to be able to get in through all of that. Ah, what a bummer. This whole trip was to be able to do these uh, inspections, so if we're not able to get in here today, which it doesn't look like we'll be able to get in very easily. Let me go up to the next one. It does look a little bit clearer down there, and we'll just take a look and see. It looks like there's just too much rain where I need to go. No, not going to work. I need to go right in there. I'm going to walk today. I'm past too much. So, you may back go rock, go WeWak now. Oh, let's do 180 and head on back to WeWak, climb up to 11,000. We'll bring our ITT up to 720 for our climb. Lots of right rudder pressure in my right hand turn and climbing turn. I was hoping it would have been cleared out by now, but it's been a couple hours now, so no point in forcing it. Morris B8819 or November Tango Kilo request. November Tango Kilo, most regret. November Tango Kilo, unable to land. Sort of me, do weather. Returning to WeWAC on climb 1 1000. Estimating overhead Arkasame on the hour. November Tango Kilo. Well, there's quite a bit of cloud just all over in this area. 
when we came in a couple hours ago, it was quite a bit clearer out here. They're just because this is some mountains in this area. So if you zoom out, there's just a bunch of mountains right there. So we'll head out here into the green area. And there's less likely that it's going to be built up quite as uh, heavy with rain. So more than likely we'll still have to punch through IMC for part of it just to head back, but we can look at our uh, chart here. And we have a couple of routes back. We are heading up here to AYAV. And um, I should already probably hit my head if I'm safe just about now. 4,500 feet for this little section here once we get back over top of Siawi. super nice to have the technology that we have these days. I mean, flying out here another 20 years, 30 years ago, all with just 100% VFR, no IFR, no <laughs> no G1000, no terrain map, no all that kind of stuff. It, it would just be a lot, a lot harder and a lot, a lot more stressful when weather pops up in front of you. Let's put our engine back to normal, landing lights turned off now that we're heading back. According to Windy, our way back, it was supposed to be starting to build up a lot here and then rain all along these mountains here as we come into WeWAC. So we'll see how it um, how it plays out. So my plan is to kind of head up along this way, follow that track in. Yeah, basically come up here, follow that track all the way in. And we'll see how the weather is once we get there. The past couple of days, the weather's just been really crummy like this, where it's just lots and lots of clouds everywhere. The, crowd, the, pictures, the, pic, the, pictures, the cameras don't really pick it up very well. Like it really gives a lot of great definition on the cameras, but when you're flying, like I said earlier, all these clouds just kind of blend together and just look like it's hard to determine how far out they are, kind of where they come and start and stuff like that. But it's been a really nice stable environment though too even though it has been really really crummy and lots of rain and clouds it's still like a really nice stable smooth air kind of flight more thousand foot to go it's just flashing for a couple of seconds let me know i have a thousand foot to go it reminds me to throw on my vertical speed and altitude select once i get a little bit closer right now i just have it on heading mode i'm trimmed out uh, and then once i get closer then i hit those two and it'll just level off at eleven thousand Now that we're out over top of uh, and well, well, way away from anything, the nearest mountain below us is probably 6,000 feet or more below us. Let's start getting on course and heading straight up to Argosame, which is going to be this AYAV up here. And also, we'll bring our torque, the top number, on down to 1250 for our cruise back to WeWAC. Also, this is a really great time for me to connect to my V2 on here. Whoops, that's not what I want. And go ahead and write somebody that's in WeWAC, ask them for weather, let them know what time I'm going to be getting there so they can show up at the airport to pick me up because I'll be doing another overnight here in WeWAC. Also, I know I've shared with this about, with you guys before, but this little checklist box right up here, I just came out with um, a new version of it. This is a homemade one. I'm now having a professional company actually making for you guys. So you guys, if you guys are at a flight school or if you're a single pilot, basically if you fly 152 all the way up to whatever. Uh, the first version I have is set up for uh, piston engine. Basically anything from uh, super or like super easy, like 152, all the way up to a complex with gear and cow flaps and everything else. Check out my uh, website. They should be up there on there by now. And uh, I would like to make eventually some uh, more airplane specific ones as well. So if you have a specific airplane that you're like, I really would like this done, then contact me and let me know. Just leave a comment down below. I always check all the comments um, or you can just check out my email in the about page of this channel and contact me and let me know. But anyways, I think they're awesome. They're a really, really great tool for single pilot ops. Keep your eyes up and out in the critical phases of flight and to also make sure that you've got all of your critical things that needed to get done for takeoff and landing. So really, really feel that this is going to be a, a huge changer for aviation, general aviation, uh, for increasing safety. Morsby 126, decimal 7, November, Tango, Kilo, position. November, Tango, Kilo, Mosuke, ahead. 
November Tango Kilo, overhead Argo Same, this time 1 1000. Shortly on descent, WEWAC, estimating WEWAC circuit 25. November Tango Kilo. A traffic noise for factory Quebec, the street, uh, departed uh, Madeleine for WEWAC. It's a descent from 1 8000. Estimating we work at 2-2. One zero mile right of track. Copy Papa X-ray Quebec time 22 we work November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo. One six six seven uh say again details for November Tango Kilo please. November Tango Kilo is currently 6-2 miles to the west, maintaining 1-1000, shortly on descent, WEWAC, estimating WEWAC from the west at time 2-5. Five. Five, thank you very much. Uh, we are 100 uh, zero miles to the southeast, leaving 17500 on descent, WEWAC estimate 2 zero. November, Tango Kilo. Uh, so he's just coming up from Medang right here, way down here, and he is about 100 miles out, so... Um, let's see, that's 54 miles out, so yeah, anyways, he's yeah, somewhere around in this area, and uh, he's going to be getting into WEWAC at just about three minutes before me, so more than likely, I'm guessing he's just going to shoot the approach and just go straight in, is my guess. You can see along all the mountain ridges out here, out to the north, it looks like there's a little bit more rain, potentially, and a little bit lower clouds as we get in towards up here. I don't think it'll be an issue. I think it's just sprinkles and kind of, just kind of scuzzy weather. Uh, just because I don't see any buildups, I just see grayness. So that's just an indication that it's just rain, and you usually, by the time you get there, you, you have visibility to go through it. It's when you get into the big, huge, white, puffy clouds that just throw you all around and uh, make it uncomfortable for everybody, including myself. Especially when rain is involved and you're trying to shoot an approach and all that good stuff. Vertical track. All right, that's Betty Let me know it's now time to start on my way down. I've already got my uh, descent profile set up at 600 feet per minute. I'll turn my altitude select here all the way down to just 500 feet. Guys, more than likely, I'll just come in and do like a right base and land on runway one zero today because there's super light wind, so there's no point in going all the way around to land the other way. I blew my anyways just because if Pop X Ray Quebec is landing, he'll have to taxi back on the runway. So by the time I get there, I'll kind of determine I might just go into a downwind and then land the same way he did, give him a little bit of time to get off the runway. As we're getting closer, I still can't, I can see the coastline out here, well, the coastline, I can see the, the ridge line, but then right about here and all the way on up, it just looks like kind of moderate rain. Doesn't look too bad, just because there's not a lot of clouds, it's just gray. Probably gonna be pretty stable going through it. But as I get closer, I'll see if I can see the ridge line. My minimum safe altitude is 3,100 for this little tiny route right here. Uh, but I don't. I think I'll, by the time I get there, I, I think we'll be able to have a, still a couple, three or four miles visibility as we go along the way. So it shouldn't be any issues. All stations, WEWAC, Pontiac November Tango, Kilo, two five miles to the west, passing six thousand three hundred on descent. We'll be shooting the practice GNSS Alpha arrival into WEWAC. This is a great time to also go through all my checklists. Selectors and brakes, our TAWs will leave enabled for now. Our VREF, which is our approach speed, 5,600 pounds is what we are right now. So let's just bump it up to 65 pounds. Uh, one thing with Kilo for five seconds, I copied your last there. Uh, do you guys come from running more by any chance? Uh, negative, I just came out from the bush. Uh, looking up towards the coast, towards Vonimo. Lots of kind of just Guzziness and rain, it doesn't look too convective, just kind of rain. Excellent, thanks a lot. Uh, we'll be connecting the approach uh, into WEWAC as well uh, from the eastern end. Uh. So, Bimbertango Kilo, understood. Yeah, 
Uh, he's just coming in from the opposite. He's also shooting the approach, even though it looks like it's a pretty nice day out that way, kind of like it is here. So he's probably just getting the extra practice as well while we can. V-Ref is set in. We'll throw our landing light on. We'll do our engine inlet here shortly once we get below 140 knots. If we had to go around, if this was a real actual one, then our missed approach is just tracking directly to Whiskey Hotel, which is just straight ahead, and climb up to 3,100 and then probably just shoot the approach from the opposite direction. All stations are back. November Tango Kilo, 17 miles now. Overhead Whiskey Echo on the Bravo GNSS. Estimating WIWAC circuit. Time 27. Correction time 23. All right, this is the initial approach fix. Push our prop forward. Reducing my torque down to 800 pounds of torque. It's going to slow me down and it's also going to allow me to get in my first degrees of flaps. So we do our approach with 10 degrees of flaps, prop forward, around 800 foot pound of torque, and that's going to give you 110 knots indicated on straight and level. On descent, we bring it down another 400, so around 400 to 450, and that will give you 110 in your descent. So as long as you keep it super simple, stupid, um, approaches are pretty easy especially if you know the numbers that you want to get. If you want a specific number, a specific configuration is going to give you that. So if you set that up, it really uh, relieves a lot of workload. And if you don't have much workload, then your brain can actually think. It's when, start, when things start getting like, <laughs> if there was lots of weather here, I probably wouldn't be talking because that would increase my workload, that's for sure. Below 140, 10 degrees of flap. We're now level at 3250, and we're just now slowing down to 110 knots by the time we get to Whiskey India, which is, well, nine seconds. And then we're going to start our descent down to 1,800 feet, so I'll turn my bug down to 1,800 feet. There we go. And my vertical speed, this doesn't have a vertical guidance on this um, one. This is just an LNAV, basically, which just gives you guidance from left to right. Start on down, we'll turn our torque, or turn our torque, we'll bring our torque on back down to 400 and let's see, probably 400 today just because we're pretty yeah, light. Flexor Quebec is uh, degrees of flaps, final should have that in already. Uh, we went 10 to 7. From Flexor Quebec, we went so much terminated. Flexor Quebec. So I've got 440 foot-pound of torque and 110 knots, 10 degrees of flaps. Looks like I'm going to be getting to my altitude right where I want to. It looks like he's out there, so we'll go mist once we get closer, and we'll just get into our left, our correction right down one for runway 28. Once we get there, then we'll continue on down to... I'm going to thank you, Kilo, for Flag 3, uh, Quebec, so four mile final 28. I'm just letting you know we'll need full length, but uh, we'll expedite the back track for you. Understood. Currently seven miles. We'll break off at the mist and join into a right down one for runway 28. Okay, understood. After our Whiskey Fox trot, we'll go on down to 910 feet. My airspeed's getting a little slow. I'm going to bump up my torque a little bit. That's going to increase my airspeed a little bit. About 150 feet to go. Before I reach, reach my Whiskey Fox trot, there we go. Now passing that, right at 1,800, on down to 910 feet. Turn that down and then also hit my altitude select and vertical together. That way it will actually level off and not just blow on through there. And this is a minimum descent altitude, so I can basically get to that at any point and then level off and then just remain at that altitude until I can either see it or I can't. And once I get to my whiskey mic, which is my missed approach point, that's where I'll have to break off and I'll just join in to a uh, right downwind. I'm paying attention, I'm talking too much. Let's bring my torque on back down, that will slow my airspeed back down to 110 knots. It's an inlet are done, prop and harness is done. Morsby 1267, November Tango, Kilo in the circuit, WIWAC cancel SAR, copy Papa, X-ray Quebec. 
November Tango Kilo, we were exhausted, terminated. November Tango Kilo. All right, that's good enough. I'm going to go ahead and break off now. All stations, we back November Tango Kilo, breaking off the approach now, joining into a right now in 2 8. Because he's still on final, I'm just going to go ahead and slow on down as much as I can. Go 20 degrees of flaps, bump my power all the way up, probably at 800, just so I can remain at like 80, 85 knots. He's just now touching down now. So by the time I'm turning final, he should probably be pulling off, probably. Car is complete. Right at pattern altitude of 1,000 feet. He's just heading down to the end of the runway now, just to do a 180 and pull off, because there's only a taxiway down the middle. Stations, uh, WIWAC and November Tango Kilo. Bye-bye, X-ray, get back, backtracking runway. Eight stations, uh, And November Tango Kilo copies Papa X-ray Quebec, just now midfield downwind. We'll shoot to land around the 1,000 foot marker. That way we don't have to hit my brakes too much by the time I get off on my taxiway. Just going to reverse a little bit. That'll help us slow us on down. Beam the numbers now. We'll reduce our torque on down to 450. And stations, uh, we work. Up back, three Quebec, clear runway two eight. Stations, we work. Turn our base at 700 feet. Minimums, minimums. Oh, everybody, let me know. I hit my minimums. 910 feet. 175 knots. Let's go ahead and turn our base now. I'm about 100 feet high, but that's all right. We'll still lose it in because we're a little bit further out. 25 knots for base. 65 for final. Flap checklist is complete. Turning final and slowing to 65 knots. Also aiming about a plane and a half before where I want to touch down. If I get my speeds on right, and I don't have any tail. 500. And in theory, in theory, in theory, I should land right where I want to. In theory. I also want around 550 foot on our descent. That's going to give us a nice. A nice, perfect, wide slope end. A bit fast, tiny bit low. Five knots ahead wind. A little bit off to the left. We're continuing. because I don't even have to touch my brakes here at all. Anyway, they're doing some runway uh, extension here. I think th I think they're making this into a uh, international airport. At least that's their goal, and I'm not sure what their time frame is or whatnot. But anyways, thanks for joining along in this flight. As always, give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Consider subscribing if you guys haven't yet. I put out videos every time, or every couple weeks, or every couple weeks. Every week I put out two videos. There we go. My workload's up, apparently. Anyways, welcome to WeWAC, and see you guys next time. Anyways, guys, uh, if you guys wanted to check out my Patreon page, the link's down below. You guys can fly that same flight out from Siawi back to WeWAC, and check out some other on-the-ground content. And welcome to WeWAC. All right, shut down, we'll put our blowers off. I'm gonna be doing another overnight here tonight. Ox bus generator all Right, as always, see you next time.